Well, supportive care is, is a, a very interesting concept. We've always needed supportive care in treating cancer patients, but the role of supportive care has changed. It's changed for a number of reasons. First of all, cancer patients are being treated with ever-increasing numbers of drugs, and some of these drugs have devastating side effects. We've talked about cardiotoxicity, but there are other side effects. There's nausea and vomiting, which has been addressed at these sessions. We've talked about diarrhea that has been addressed at these sessions. There are huge life-altering complications that we didn't necessarily see to the extent that we are now seeing them in the past. And so these patients need not just to be treated with the most effective drugs for their particular cancer. They also need to be managed so that they can get through the devastation that some of our treatments as cancer doctors result in. And this is, a, this is one problem. Uh, a second thing or a second issue is that because the success of some of the chemotherapeutic agents and some of our new approaches to cancer has resulted in patients living so much longer, we have not months or a year or two to provide supportive care, but we may provide supportive care for decades. We may, in the case of our pediatric patients, provide it for major parts of a century because some patients treated in infancy will have a normal life expectancy and may live 80 years and may require some level of understanding of what was done to these patients years ago, what is likely to be different in that group of patients as, as, as related to other groups of patients who have different problems or no problem related to chemotherapy. So supportive care in cancer is, is growing uh, for a number of these reasons.